Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to differentiate your bot information in your console so you can better understand what's happening when you have multiple bots running in Python. That's going to be a two-step process. First, adding a logger so we know which information is coming from which bot, and we'll move on to adding color to our console for better visual estimation without having to read every line. Now we're going to start by adding our logging feature, first taking a look at where we left off last episode with our multi-bot, and this script is going to be the new baseline for all our bots moving forward. Now the main difference you'll see here is that we have three things in this MC bot, and if we go to our logging script, we have four things. And what's been added is this logging function. Now what this logging function does is it acts as a middleman for a message that we would normally immediately send to our console, but then first adding the bot's name before it. And so then if we look at an example with our multi-bot, we'll go to events, login. You'll see here whenever our bot logs in, it prints this to console. And previously we had to manually add the bot name whenever we wanted to add a string that we eventually ended up printing to console somewhere. But now instead of having to do that, if I take a look at our logger bot here, we're gonna go to events, login. You'll see that all we have to do is self.log and then the message without that bot's name in the front. And then this logging function will automatically add that bot name and anything else that we wanna add in here. With that, let's take a quick look at how this logging feature works. And now you can see, same as before, whenever one of our bots sends a message to our console, it is tagged with the bot's name. But now it goes through our middleman, which is this log function. Whereas before we had to manually add that at the start of every single print statement within our script, now we no longer have to do that because we're using this middleman. Now that we know what information is coming from where, it's also very important to know which information is valuable to us at the time when we're looking to the console. So if, for example, we're specifically looking for on-click events that might appear attached to messages, we would want to color code those a specific color. That way, when we look at our console, we immediately know what it is that we want to be looking at and what we can ignore. And to do that in Python is quite simple. If I look at our colorbot script here, you can see we're importing this new library, which is SimpleChalk. And this is just a quick Python library that'll help us add all of this extra color to our console without having to go through a bunch of overhead or a bunch of clutter that comes with some other color-based packages for Python. Now it's quite simple with how to use this. So we're gonna go into start events. Once again, take a look at our login function here. And you'll see that in addition to our new logging function middleman, we have another middleman, which will be our color that we're adding. And so now if we are using the color green for all our login events, Whenever we see the color green in our console, as long as we don't have anything else that is also tagged with the same exact shade of green, we'll know that it has to be a login event. That way we can immediately ignore it if we're looking for something that isn't a login event. And if we are looking for our login events to try and debug something, then we know exactly where to look. And then for some more examples here with our on kick event, I have this set to bright red. And then for disconnect here, I've got it in a darker shade of red. And that way I can immediately know what I'm looking at whenever I take a look at my console without having to read every single line by simply looking at what color that line is. So I know if it's green, it means one of my bots logged in. If it's bright red, it means one of my bots got kicked. And if it's darker shade of red, it just means that one of my bots is disconnected from a server. And now let's see what that looks like in practice. All right, now you'll see when I run the color bot script, whenever it does anything that would normally send a message to our console, it'll show with color. So you can set the login message is in green. And if I slash kick our color bot here, you'll see that it shows in this bright red and then that it disconnected in this darker red. And so for example, if I'm having issues with my bots not reconnecting, I can always take a look in my console and I know immediately I'm looking for any blue messages because that's where it is attempting to reconnect. So if I don't see anything that's blue, it means my bot never attempted to reconnect and that's where I need to focus my attention for fixing this bug. And as always, at the top description, you'll find a link to the code that I use in this video. In the middle, you'll find a link to all the references used for making this video. And then at the bottom, you'll find Discord links, both for the Prismarine JS Discord, which is for more general Mindflare help, and then my community discord if you want to discuss anything regarding these tutorials in particular. Cheers!